Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to uh, another video of mine. This is uh, Sean. Uh, this is going to be a uh, traditional wet shaving video and uh, it's uh, been a while since I've uh, released a, a wet shaving video since I've been uh, busy with other projects. However, um, I just cannot ignore my uh, male fan base. So, um, in uh, today's video I'm going to be uh, featuring this. The uh, Razo Zero Agrimello uh, Shaving Cream. It's Italian and it's made by a uh, Chinese fellow by the name of uh, Chung Fung Sing uh, who emigrated to Torino, Italy and uh, that is where um, he um, masterminded the uh, creation of these uh, products. Uh, yep, so um, this is a budget brand uh, however um, I have actually uh, used this uh, shaving cream in the past and um, it's very effective. I'll give you that. And for uh, the razor, I'm going to be uh, featuring this Parker 26 open comb. Uh, and uh, I've equipped it with uh, one of these, an Astra Superior Stainless Blue Blades. Uh, I really enjoy these uh, blades very much. They're uh, highly effective. And um, for today's brush, which I have soaking, it's my uh, True Fit and Hill Synthetic. Yes, I find uh, for uh, this shaving cream, which feels very much like a shaving soap, I find uh, synthetics uh, do the uh, best job in uh, creating the lather. And last but not least, for the aftershave, um, to go with the uh, lemon scent I'll, uh, of the cream, I'll go with the uh, Mersol. This is a Spanish company. Uh, this is a uh, lemon uh, scented aftershave. It's quite refreshing. So um, without further ado, I'll go ahead and uh, start lathering and um, bottoms up. Yeah, I can really uh, pick out the uh, fresh lemon citrus scent. It's got hints of lemon, bergamot as the base notes. Yeah, I always like to lather uh, these uh, soaps hard. I find this lathering this way uh, with a shaving soap is best for me. That's already getting plentiful. Lots of lather right here. And I'll just go ahead and uh, rinse my face. There we go. Let's go ahead and apply the lather. So how's everybody doing today?
I say hello to you uh, wherever you are in, in the world. Hope you're all uh, staying safe in the midst of this uh, ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. Well, vaccines are rolling out, so hopefully uh, everything will go back to normal soon. Scrub a little bit more of the bowl here. Yeah, the uh, first pass is the most important, so I want to make sure I lather up very well in preparation for it. There. Mm. Mm hmm. Looking good. So I'll take my razor and go uh, first pass with the grain. Yeah, you always want to uh, shave going with the grain on the first pass. Yeah, I think I have uh, over four days worth of hair growth. This uh, soap along with this razor is doing an, a marvelous job at removing all this hair. And with this being an open comb razor, you don't want to uh, apply too much pressure. Just doing nice and easy. as if you were petting a dog or a cat. Yeah. So far, I won't complain about this uh, soap. It's doing its job, which uh, is what it was designed for.
So it's important not to uh, apply the uh, buffing technique whenever you're using one of these uh, open comb razors. Just to avoid all that irritation. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Does the job. Okay, I'll go ahead and uh, rinse off. Yeah, nice and smooth. Prepare, I'll prepare for the uh, second pass. All right, there we are. Just take my brush. Yeah, I'll do three passes. for today's shave. we go. Yes. Nice and slick. Okay, second pass, cross grain. Yeah, so these uh, soaps are handmade. And uh, these uh, soaps actually uh, work quite well, given the price. Now, um, for this Razor Zero brand, there's also a uh, lime-scented uh, soap, as well as the uh, uh, tobacco scent. And I'm in Canada, so... I think I only paid like six dollars for this uh, bowl of soap, which is a good deal.
It's already beginning to look very dapper, I must say. <laughs> A lot of men uh, prefer to grow beards, but um, I like the clean shaven look. Hence, this is why uh, I have uh, shaving videos. All right, so second pass done, and on to the uh, third and final pass which I will go shave against the grain. Take the rest of this, squeeze it out. Yeah, so why let all this uh, cream go to waste? It's nice, rich, it's thick enough to serve its purpose. There we go. Okay, on to the uh, third and final pass going against the grain. So if you want to have that professional uh, baby smooth uh, skin look, uh, this is the uh, pass that is most important for it. Shaving against the grain after uh, shaving uh, downwards and cross grain will uh, bring that smooth, uh, rubbery feel to the cheeks. It's coming along very smooth.
true elegance. Shaving in luxury, but uh, on a budget as well. If you want to have the uh, that luxury, this luxury experience while you're on a budget, these uh, Rasso Zero shaving soaps would be perfect for you. Yeah, they're not too expensive. There we go. Now that looks clean. Now go ahead and uh, rinse off and uh, apply the aftershave. Oh, there we go. <laughs> now just pat down the cheeks. You don't want to apply too much pressure because that way you, your skin now will become more red if it does. Okay, so, oh, this feels so wonderful. Yeah. So, uh, here I'll go, I'll go ahead and apply this, the Immersol uh, Lemon Scented Aftershave. Immersol, uh, this is a um, Spanish brand. Um, from what I read, there, this uh, gentleman uh, created uh, this uh, brand back in the 1940s out of his own home and uh, became very successful at it. So, I'll go ahead. Give this a splash. Ah, oh, yes. Now this is the proper way to uh, apply aftershave to the pores. Just so, uh, they can probably properly absorb what's coming in. Ah, yes, smells nice and fresh. Mm hmm. Oh, smells wonderful. Yes, I feel like a new man. All right. So, um, that's it. Um, yes, uh, I highly recommend this uh, brand, Razo Zero, to uh, anyone who wants to enjoy the uh, traditional wet shaving experience, yet who's on a budget. Um, yep, there, uh, there's also the uh, lime scent, as well as the uh, tobacco scent. So, I'll just uh, show the uh, packaging to you once more. Rouse Zero, manufactured, handmade in Torino, Italy. And this is the Agramella scent. And uh, for today's uh, shave, 
The Razor feature was the uh, Parker 26 open comb, equipped with the uh, with an Astra Superior stainless blue blade, and um, the brush featured is a True Fit and Hill synthetic. I find synthetics work best against these uh, kind of soaps. They uh, produce the uh, thickest lather. Okay, so um, that's it. I uh, hope you found this uh, video to be uh, helpful. Uh, please like and uh, comment and subscribe to my channel if you really uh, if you've become a real fan of my work. Um, I do want to uh, thank you for uh, watching this uh, video. Um, yeah, I would like to uh, advise you all to uh, stay safe, um, stay home, and uh, whenever you go out, wear masks. And uh, yes, if um, you want to get vaccinated, it's the best way to uh, stop COVID. So, yes. Okay, well, um, have a great day. Have uh, great shaves. And um, I do thank you for watching. Take care. Peace, much love, and namaste. Thank you.